20, 78, 71, North Carolina State. See the gap right in the middle now. Monroe goes in to close that gap. The wing should be open. They should slide right there on the wing to reverse the ball. Henderson, Henderson off the zigzag pass should be open. But boy, these guards boy, are Carciani with steal number eight. He has been outstanding on both sides of the floor in the second half. Well, out of the two-three zone, he's just flattening inside, and he's be, he's able to reach in. Duke's got to be able to get the ball more to the wings. They use time, tempo. Orciani uh, nearly lost his dribble there, recovered to knock it away to Lester. Anderson now trying to deny Corciani the ball. Monroe drives. Oh, Rodney. Rodney and Corciani salutes the crowd, has a smile on his face. Great back towards Corciani and Monroe. I like Dwayne Bryant and Charlie Smith, number two. Come out of Georgetown. Chucky Brown rebounds, and there's Corciani. Uh -oh. There goes his buddy. Oh, foul by Snyder against Howard. And Quinn to get him that time over there quickly to check on Brian Howard. That's the third foul on Snyder. Snyder wouldn't hurt anybody. He's a class kid. Young man that's going to certainly make it in life. There's the pass. There comes the bump. Some people wanted the intentional. A one-time number one team could be looking at loss number three inside of nine days. Danny Berry not playing because of back spasms. And talking with Mike Krzyzewski yesterday, Dick, he said, look, so we're three and five in Reynolds Coliseum. You know that. You know we're not playing with Danny Ferry, but my team needs Danny Ferry healthy. If it costs me some victories in the ACC, hey, it's the ACC tournament that means a champion. It's the NCAA that means dollars and makes your program an outstanding one, and he should know. There's a look at Danny Ferry. He went to the NCAA two of the last three years, 86, 88. You know, my feeling right now, the three best teams in America are North Carolina, Georgetown and Louisville. Mm. All three are playing outstanding basketball, and to me, it will have a great chance if they stay healthy to be in Seattle. Coming up next, we have Sports Center. Tom Meese and Bill Patrick standing by in Oregon State and California. We'll follow that. You know, Lyndon Jones and Jay Edwards have become a solid backcourt as well, and they're both Souths. And this group here, Corciani and Monroe, only in their second year. Biggest lead of the game now for NC State. Out to 10, 81-71, 235 and counting. That zone really turned it around. That key three with Corciani getting those steals. I don't know, Lottie trying to keep it alive, and Monroe clears it. Had a tough time. Jimmy Valvano is a master at changing rhythm of a game with changing defenses. He does a great job in utilizing gimmick defenses. He has no rhyme or reason, too, sometimes for some of his substitution patterns. Oh, he's a magician with the ball right here, the kid. This is his showtime right now. Look at the little guy. Lester. If that would have went down, I was ready to say, jump out of here, baby. <laughs> See you later, alligator. After one, crocodile. <laughs> There's Corciani. Oh, uh, coach would love to coach a little guy like this. Every team needs a catalyst, needs a little guy to make the engine go. He would be so effective with a guy like Ramiel Robinson that front court they have up in Michigan. Borciani's brother, Gabe Jr., played at UNO. He has a career-high record for assists at the University of New Orleans. He and his brother, Gabe, when his father was a coach, used to uh, defense or have to break the press at Miami Lakes when they were five, six, seven years old. They were running against the high school team, and that's how you that's how you become a Chris Corciani. Let me tell you this. The best guard is not even on the floor right now for NC State. They got a better guard than both these guys. Andrea Stinson. You want to see her. I watched a little bit of her yesterday in practice. She's getting ready to go down to Maryland against the Maryland Terrapins. They got a mm -hmm. tremendous women's basketball team. I think they're number seven in the nation, and NC State's number 13. Coached by Kay Yao. Did a great job with the Olympic team. There's the deuce inside. Abdul Mabi, and it's now down to nine with a minute 50 to play. Duke needs turnovers, and it's hard to get them with Porciani handling the ball. Well, you got to be careful when you're handling the ball not to spin with that basketball. You're susceptible to the double team. You want to face the defensive players. Lester's the man you want to foul if he touches it. They may not get that opportunity. Henderson got a hand on it. They're pinching Chris Porciani. Well, look how difficult it is. It's like keep away. Spread the court. See, they're going to deny the ball right now. Henderson's got to try not to let him get 
with the basketball. And with eight on the clock, Chucky Brown knocks it down. 15 for Chucky. What a job Jimmy Valvano has done with this team. Battling adversity. Bricky. Out of bounds. It goes back to the Wolf Pack. And he was in no mood to go to practice yesterday. We were sitting in his office. He said, Dick, I'm not really in a mood, but I got to go. And then once he got into the gym, as I was telling Freddie Goodelli, our producer, we watched practice, I said, look at him. Is he into it? He was emotional. He was fiery. He was the real Jim Valvano. And the players have responded tonight with a great performance. Granted, Danny Ferry's been out of this game, but North Carolina State has really taken it to two tonight. There's Monroe. They played well. And remember this. Duke really met him with a challenge, shooting so well in the first half, and Abdul Nabi played so brilliantly. Yeah, they were at 81% from the floor at halftime. And you foul back. against Bricky. You gotta like Corciani. You gotta like him, Tim. He doesn't have the talent, let's say, of a guy down at LSU, Chris the Rocket Jackson, who to me is the best little man since. Well, since Calvin Murphy will be another great one next year, Kenny Anderson coming listen, into Georgia Tech. Listen to the ovation here for Corciani. If there were a dugout, he'd come out. You got to make those after you get the standing O. <laughs> Snyder. Porciani saves it to Howard. Howard says, here it goes. It's over. It's showtime. It's party time. It's rock and roll time. <laughs> hey, so what? says Jim Valvano to a book. This is reality. This is fact. My club's playing well. Brian Howard being greeted right now. Some of that ovation for him. He had 23 points in the game as he goes to the NC State bench. There he is. Dusta Jr. from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Just down the road. Well, Henderson nearly got the steal that Corciani had done. I love the way he recognizes open people. Corciani leads the cheers for Coach 